Five, four, three, two, one. Thunderbirds are go. atomic station is still very much on the secret list I can tell you that the seawater so necessary in this irrigation project is pumped to the station by the plant you can see on your left naturally the reclaiming of the dead lands of Australia takes up millions and millions of gallons of this seawater now I don't know if you want to put any questions I'll answer those I can could you give us some kind of statement on the safety factor? There's always a certain amount of public concern over these atomic devices. I think so. Uh, this new project here is no more dangerous than the many atomic power plants set up all over the world. Of course, we all appreciate that an accident could occur, but the chances are very, very slim indeed. With respect, that's hardly a complete reassurance. And if this lot goes sky high, even on a slim chance... Please, please, I don't think I've made myself quite clear. The reactor is under the complete control of the project staff. Nothing can go wrong. Is still in the plant? Yeah, still here. They don't give up, do they? Well, I suppose it's natural. Public's got every right to be worried. If there was an accident here, the radioactivity would spread right across Australia. Well, there's no chance of that, is there? Hey, what are you doing? What's going on? Somebody in the plant. What price security now? Okay, come out of there. And keep your hands up.
base immediately. There is no cause for alarm. The emergency will soon be under control. Looks bad to me. Yeah, I just want to get to a phone. Gets to the reactor, this whole place will go up. You have not heard the last of me. I'll make the plans of those atomic stations mine if it's the last thing I do. Got any more handouts? I hear the fire's been blazing away for quite some time. Yeah, that's it. The fire started soon after I first called in, about five hours ago. Now, there haven't been any more handouts. And I did hear a rumour that the fire's reached the reactors. Racing away. If only we could stop the intake. This is control to all personnel. We've received orders to evacuate. Rescue aircraft are standing by. And they're going to let it destroy itself.
And I like the way they called this press conference. Must be something big. We'd better get inside. They're coming in now, sir. Okay. Announce me. Let's get it over with. Yes, sir. Looks like the action's going to start. Ladies and gentlemen, we appreciate the cooperation of the press and television networks and would like to thank you for responding so promptly. Ladies and gentlemen, General Speyer. Okay, relax everybody. I'll come straight to the point. It concerns the explosion at the Atomic Irrigation Project Monday last. I thought that was all over. We've been asked to play it down. Only because we've been trying to avert a panic. Truth of the matter is, the explosion caused a radioactive cloud. We've been trying to disperse this, but so far we've been unsuccessful. Now, order, please. Order. This cloud is continuing to move towards our major cities. The public have got to be told. Unless the weather takes a hand and a strong wind springs up, in the cause of general safety, Melbourne will have to be evacuated. It's over then. You hear the cloud got blown away? Yeah. Yeah, I know. The wind came just in time. I suppose we can all breathe again.
year ago I failed in my attempt to steal the secrets of the new atomic stations. But now, a chance, a master plan that cannot fail, and with a fortune that these secrets will bring, my empire will grow and I shall be invincible. <laughs> Good to see you, John. You were late. There's nothing wrong, is there? No, uh, sorry about that. There was a lot on. What with Lady Penelope arriving and one thing and another. How is she? Very anxious to go out on a rescue. <laughs> if your spell of duty is anything like mine, she's going to be unlucky. I've never known things so quiet. I just can't tell you how thrilled I am to be here, Jeff. Well, it's great to have you, Penny. We're glad you could get over. Well, it's the first opportunity I've had since you've actually started operations. I can believe that. From the reports we've been getting, it seems you've been having more adventures than we have. Oh, Grandmama, did you hear that? Of course I did. I'm not deaf. No, I meant dear Virgil's insinuation that I've been in the thick of things, as they say. You do seem to have had your share of excitement, Lady Penelope. Oh, yes, but I shan't consider myself as part of the team until I've been out on a rescue. Oh, yeah. I see. See, I wonder where those cold drinks have got to. It is my duty to serve the drinks, uh, Mr. Parker. Yes, uh, but I thought you'd like to see how it's really done. I have had no complaints on my service from Mr. Tracy so far. Oh, I'm... Uh, I'm quite sure he appreciates that you're doing it to the best of your ability, Kieran. I always have the honor to serve in this household. Ah, oh, but uh, you don't always have a butler from one of England's stately homes. Forgive me, but I insist. Take your meat off my tray. From the sound of it, we're going to stay thirsty. You know, Penelope... I'll have to visit you one day. Never been to a stately home. About the only thing I haven't. Of course you must come, Grandmama. Sir, so, gentlemen, we shall begin the demonstration. Now, this toy is the latest product of scientists working at this establishment. As you have already seen, although completely electronic, it behaves and looks like an ordinary mouse. In fact, it would take a close inspection to tell it from the real thing. How does it uh, interest us, Holton? The taxpayers won't like paying four million bucks for that. I'd rather you give him an electronic cat to get rid of real mice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, please, gentlemen, please. Uh, we haven't called our inventions a mighty atom for nothing. This is what the taxpayers are getting. Now watch closely. Our furry friend contains a powerful miniature camera. More to the point, he can be placed to photograph any foreign, alien or enemy installations that we wish. How do you make sure it takes the photographs you want, Alton? Mm. Yes, I see. Yeah. Quiet, please. Uh, thank you. Professor Langley has raised the question and I'm sure you all want to know the answer. All the relevant information of any project can be seen on the dials of its controlled panels, right? Sooner or later, scientists and technicians look at these dials. 
The camera in the mighty atom has been electronically programmed to photograph the profile of the human face. You'll see how it works when I inspect the dials of this control panel. Professor Langley, would you be kind enough to operate the remote control unit? Of course. When you're ready, Professor. Thank you, Professor. Now, I will show you what we've got on this film. Lights, please. Fantastic. Great achievement, Halton. Big step forward in espionage. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Any questions? Yes. What happens if the mouse is seen or approached? There is a safety factor incorporated in this design. If a human face moves towards it, the mighty atom runs for the nearest cover and hides, like any real mouse. Are you satisfied, Professor? Yes, I am. Very satisfied. to spite my enemies. This is a key that will open every door. My power will grow as my knowledge increases. With the help of my new friend, the secrets of the world will be mine. Mine! 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 matter, Lady Penelope? Nothing. It's just that you'd think someone, somewhere, would need international rescue. what we came for.
on your way, my little friend. I don't know what this place is coming to. I tell you, there was a mouse in here. Yeah, yeah, I know. He was wearing top hat and tails. Now cut it out, Collins, will you? See what we've managed to collect. Excellent. A very good day's work. Of course, while I'm here, why not destroy the atomic station and bring out international rescue? Then their secrets will be mine for the taking. Alan, what's wrong? It's an emergency. An emergency. You mean... You mean a rescue? That's just what it is, a rescue. Oh, you've got to let me in on it, Alan. Sure. What's happened? It's Scott. And I don't know whether we can save him. Well, what are we waiting for? Alert Thunderbird 1. Um, Thunderbird 2. Where's Jeff? Why isn't he here? Parker, the rolls. Oh, Alan, what's the procedure? I don't know it. <laughs> <laughs> Why, you young rascals. You really had me believe it. Uh, sorry, Lady Penelope. We just couldn't resist it. Yeah, guess we're as bored as you. Well, at least Scott isn't in any trouble. That's just where you're wrong. In fact, it gave us the idea. Grandma caught him sampling a special cake she baked for tonight. Yes, ma'am. Scott really does need rescuing. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, this atomic station is an ideal place for some international rescue heroics. Now all we need is an accident, which should be easy to provide. <laughs> a slight drop of pressure on the number 10 generator. Yeah, it showed up on the control panel. 
I've adjusted it from here. Finish the routine, Jack. Yep. All completed. Oh, it's fantastic, isn't it? Not so long ago, this whole area was a desert. And now, look at it. Well, that's the idea of the scheme. Process the sea and oceans with atomic energy into fresh water, and then pump it out into the Earth's deserts. And this whole section handled by just the two of us. Yep, just the two of us. And one fully automated atomic station. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Hey, what's happened? The controls are going crazy. Switch to emergency control. <laughs> we can't control it. Control board five. Wait. Look at control board five. Sabotage. Nothing else can explain it. It must be sabotage. The reactor's starting to race. I've seen this happen before. Last year in Australia, the station blew up. Let's get out of here. No, wait. I've seen what can happen. In two hours' time, the explosion. Then a radioactive cloud drifting halfway across Africa. And we can't count on a wind saving us this time. What are we going to do? What can we do? There's just a slight chance. They weren't operating before. But now... Did you hear me? What are we going to do? Do? Call International Rescue. Thunderbirds, we're waiting for you. We therefore estimate that the reactor will destroy the atomic station in one and three quarter hours. International rescue. Can you hear us? Are you receiving our message? International rescue to Saharan Station. We picked up your emergency call. That's the situation, Father. If the reactor explodes, the radioactivity will do unthinkable damage. Radio the station, John. Tell them help is on its way. I heard the call. Hey, what's happened? Hold it, Scott. Brains, what do we need? Well, the, uh, the big problem is going to be the uh, seawater intake. It, it'll, it'll have to be cut off underwater. Sounds like a job for Thunderbird 4. Alert Virgil and Gordon. Right. Now, Scott, the destination's North Africa. There's a runaway reactor in the Saharan Atomic Station. Possible sabotage. John will fill in the details and give you the exact position as soon as you're airborne. Okay, away you go. There's very little time. Yes, sir. Jeff, Jeff, you know how badly I want to go out on a rescue. Yeah, but uh, this one's too dangerous. But, Jeff, all calls are dangerous. Ah, boys, good. Jeff, I may not get another chance. Please. Okay, Penny. You better go with Virgil. Here I go. Okay, Gordon, that's the situation. Penny, you take the passenger chute. Yes, sir. This way? Away you go, Virgil. Okay, Father.
chain reaction seems to be speeding up. I put the information through the computer. We've got just one hour left before the whole place goes sky high. This is an absolutely fantastic experience. I'm sure glad you're enjoying it, uh, Lady Penelope. You know, these machines of yours, they're quite, quite fabulous. Sure they are. That's why there are people who'd stop at nothing to learn our secrets. There's one problem we haven't discussed yet. Whoever did this to us is probably still around. Is Thunderbird 1 to International Rescue have arrived at Danger Zone. Okay, Scott. Report in again when you've set up. Sure. Over and out. Thunderbird 4 to mobile control. I am in position by the sea intake and awaiting further instructions. Okay, Gordon. When Virgil arrives, we'll try and get the reactor under control. You'll have to stop that water coming through the intake at the exact second, otherwise... We'll all go up. Mobile control from Thunderbird 4. FAB standing by. How long have we got? The reactor's running away. International rescue? You've got just 20 minutes. Thunderbird 2 to mobile control. I'm coming in to land. Hurry it up, Virgil. At last, they've all arrived. Now, go and get me those photographs. I'm going to join Scott. You better stay here and keep radio contact open, Lady Penelope. F.A.B., but if you want me to help inside, don't hesitate to ask. Hadn't we better call them? No, look. John's coming through from the space station. I've just been advised of the current situation. Gordon is standing by awaiting instruction to destroy the sea intake. Scott and Virgil have done protective clothing and are going into the reactor control room. Why, well, that, that means that they're going to try and bring it under control with the, the, the rods. Five minutes! Did you hear that? You've got five minutes! We heard.
two minutes. Just listen to that silence. still laughing, Virgil. I just don't like mice, that's all. Okay, okay, I'll change the subject. International Rescue, this is Thunderbird 2. We're going to pick up Thunderbird 4 and then are returning to base. Oh dear, now I wonder where that mouse has got to. At last, I have the information I require. And now, the secrets of international rescue. What? I don't believe it! Yeah. 